Good morning, guys. It is Monday morning. Like usual, Carol and I don't really like driving home in traffic. And we have jobs flexible enough to stay up over Sunday night and uh, pack up Monday morning and, and have a nice stress-free drive home. Uh, I just finished vacuuming, cleaning up the deck, and making sure it's all spotless for whoever comes in first next week. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how much I got done. I only got done up to this spot. Uh, when I did get to around here, um, Carol yelled down saying, hey, maybe give the pump a break, uh, the water well. And uh, so I did, but now I'm regretting it because... Uh, I never got around to doing that, and we got to go. So uh, this is a dark patch because for two years, we had two docks, the old docks that we used to have, and we used to have a, a ramp and then a dock and a ramp and a dock, and they're up on poles, and that's what we put in every year. And then those two huge 16-foot-long docks we had slid up onto here, and that just covered that area for two years and that's why that was uh dirtier uh you think it'd be protected but it seemed to have gotten dirtier i guess the side gets beaten up by uh the sun and rain and all that stuff so uh that's why it looks even nicer there but uh yeah i moved this big beam out of the way did all that and pushed the beam back this is the one that got lost in the spring when the ice came in and uh anyway so yeah i did that and i I guess when I come up next weekend, I'll just do the rest of this. The pressure washer is up there. I gotta put this hose away just to make it look somewhat organized. When I was pressure washing this part of the deck, a duck came and he was like milling about underneath while I was hosing down this deck. And then he came out here and he just could care less about the noise. And uh, I'm not sure if he was just interested in the water that was coming off the pressure washer. But, uh, hey Carol. And uh, everybody loved your video on the last one, the strawberry one. Strawberry fields forever. And uh, look at those irises. Let's see if I can zoom in there. Look at those beauties. It takes a second sometimes for the camera to get a sharp image. When you zoom in like that, it's like a digital zoom, right? Now let's go over and see it. Uh, yeah. It was a crappy weekend all weekend. Um, we didn't have a whole lot of time to hang out on the dock. But uh, yesterday we watched... What was the movie we watched yesterday? Uh, fifth the Fifth Element. Carol and I watched that last night. Uh, but before everybody else left. Oh, the uh, day after. Yeah, day after tomorrow. So uh, my sister mentioned while we were eating lunch that she really liked that movie, uh, 2012. And she's watched it multiple times. And I said, oh, that is a good movie. But have you ever seen uh, Day After Tomorrow? And she's like, no, what's that one? And so I can't believe she never saw that. Uh, but so she saw it last, yesterday. We, so we watched, again, it was raining and crappy. Just like it is today. It's not raining, but it's crappy. And here are those irises that somehow planted themselves here all by themselves. And uh, there's a nice little angle for you. Let's see if we can do like a, a very close up. Okay. Oh, look at those colors, purple and yellow, gorgeous. And they just, nobody planted them. They were just here somehow. They just embedded themselves in the rock there and they come back every single year. Those are the best kind of uh, plants and stuff. Oh, we've got some more over there now. But there's the dock and that's the work we did. So, you guys saw, I never, I don't think I ever shot this angle of it for you, but uh, let's see if we zoom in there. Focus, there you go. So, I, like I said, I don't need the two beams under there. Uh, it's just uh, overkill. So, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this beam at the moment. Probably have to use it for the deck eventually up there if things start to go weird up there. But uh, yeah, so what we'll do is next spring, I'll come down and look to see if this is lined up with the front of the dock. And if they're pushed in too far, then uh, we'll just do that same work over again, which is uh, lift the dock, empty the rocks, put the cribs back where they're supposed to be, and, uh, and then lower the dock or the deck onto the cribs. But uh, 
my dad used to do that every year. My nana and granddad, my mom's mom and dad, uh, they owned that land. There was two properties they owned. And uh, my dad used to build a dock every year off this rock dock out that way. And uh, he would, I, just, I remember vividly as like a five, six, seven year old watching my dad. Uh, cribs very similar to these ones because the ice would come in and tip them over or tip them sideways or push them off where they're supposed to be. And he would every year take all the rocks out, move it into position, put them all back, have a Molson Golden at the end or Labatt's 50. If you guys are from Ontario or Canada and remember those two beers, I think they're still around. But uh, that was my dad's favorite. Yeah, the Molson Golden or the Labatt's 50. Um, yeah, so now it's passed on to my generation. And, you know, every couple of years we'll probably have to redo the two cribs, uh, which isn't a big deal. Uh, again, I, said, I keep saying this. If, if we fastened this dock to the cribs and when that ice came in, it would just shatter wood um, like the last uh, situation when my dad had the three big cribs and had it all attached. Like this dock is probably about two to three feet into the shore. Like it used to be, it used to be out more and uh, you can see it's still on a bit of a slant. I don't, I really don't want to go up higher. I don't mind it being on a slant. It's not like it's a big deal, but, uh, and plus if I go up higher, then this ramp becomes steeper and then people like my mom can't navigate down a steep ramp like that plus it, if it's wet it could be slippery so it's better just to have this going down there's no way that i can figure out how to make this whole dock or deck slide back out to where it's supposed to be um like you'd need some type of a crane in the water to grab it and then to pull pull it out uh to reclaim some of the land that it's pushed up against there's a concrete step to my dad poured all those concrete steps right there and when I did a lot of work on that dock uh, I recovered one of the concrete steps which was forced under another concrete step and it had my name and my sister's name on it and so uh, I pulled that out after many years and redid it sorry about the wind guys but uh, it's like I said not the best of days so now Carol and I are packing up to go home I got a lot of editing to do four major videos for the big channel I can't wait to put them together. Carol's just emptying out that water. Do you want to put it back up on top there? Yeah. So this is all the planks that, uh, again, 16 foot, and that's an eight, eight inch two by eight. And this is a two by six. And we're gonna keep that wood for as long as we can to possibly fix other things. Anyway, we're gonna finish packing up and uh, we're out of here. Did you see the caterpillar? Oh. I don't know what kind that is. Uh -uh. Don't have a clue. What will that be? I'm I'm thinking it might be a moth when it's finished, all said and done. We don't get a whole lot of caterpillar. I mean, uh, butterflies up here, but every once in a while we'll do. One of my favorites is that moon, the lunar, the loon moth. The luna moth. Luna moth. That's a beautiful one. Yeah. You usually see one a year. Anyway, let's oh, uh, pack up. It's called. Oh, Carol has a nap. Uh, I don't have my glasses on. Species but. of moth, yeah. So, oh, Orthosia hibisci. Yeah, it doesn't show what it's going to be. It's a pretty good app. Yep. Oh, it's just, oh, it was just your photograph, right? Yeah, you take then, a photograph. Oh, yeah, that's what it's going to look like. All right, that's a typical moth up here. Yeah, nighttime on the thing. There he is, yeah. Mm. Yeah, we've seen a bunch of those up here in the yeah. past. So yeah, and that you know justifies that thing. Yeah, you know what? Also, I found what? is a whole bunch of the dragonfly. Oh um, right, there's one up there on the deck. Yeah, there's there's a whole bunch everywhere. It's so amazing. So the dragonflies are great because they eat the mosquitoes. mosquitoes. Yeah, I have to find that thing. It's I think it's in Rusty. It's the thing that you can attach to my hat. And it's yes. got I've got a fake, a fake, fake one. So next week we'll probably bring moose up because uh, we need to take these home and possibly uh, do maybe an adventure with these. But uh, we've got to bring moose up next time. Actually, I'm going to put uh, this hose away first and put that back on so we don't lose it.
we used to have one of those windy up things and it used to be hung right here but uh again they're made out of plastic and they fall apart over time so this will last for probably ever and doesn't cost any money so that's the way we're gonna keep that going and there is one of the dragonfly larvae i'm not sure if that's a chrysalis or exoskeleton maybe but yeah. that's what they crawl around in and then the, the dragonfly bursts out the back of it and yeah. dries its wings and then flies away and helps us keep the mosquito population down <laughs> and there's two more i think again this i don't i don't i don't know if that's, that's possibly a, one yeah that's I a don't very know. It's a, maybe it's just a different breed of them again you have to take a picture but you can see where they broke out the back right there and this is obviously uh, is that upside down? Yeah, so this is how he would present himself crawling around. Which I never see these. Yeah, I never see these things walking around. Cool. Yeah. Gonna pack up all this stuff in the Atlas and then get out of here. Got everything in, no problem. Have a great week, guys. Thanks for watching. Safe drive home. Let's do it.